So I have a sister, and she's really kind of like, well, you know how cells work? Yeah, you got cells and stuff, like in our bodies. And well, there are, our bodies are like haunted, like houses, and our cells have memories. That's okay, right? You still like me, right? Even though our cells hold memories of horrors and murders from millennia past. Okay, good. Well, see, the point is, in the ghosts, is the ghosts in us, they can sleep for forever, you know? Like, really sleepy. Like, they sleep and we exist in our own little bubble, but not like a real bubble, like a, like a time bubble, and we don't, and the future and past doesn't touch us. But then sometimes the ghosts in our bodies end up getting woken up. That doesn't bother you, does it? Does, does it rustle your jimmies? Does it bother you? Good. Well, my sister, Sissy, was like really haunted. She like bears uh, a mark which may never get wiped away. <laughs> She's never really been the same since the night she spent in the sewers. Your worm. <laughs> you're right. Maybe you're just a greedy little bitch is what you are. Maybe so, young Butonia. <laughs> Maybe so. But at least I'm not a roadkill bitch. Young Butonia? My name is Sissy, you fool. Butonia's my dumb dead mom. Even so. Even so? Even so. Even so, I'm not Butonia. I'm Sissy and you're an asshole. My name is Eddie Asthma, and you are not who you think you are. Not even- <laughs> <laughs> Look here, B. I know more about your family than you will ever comprehend. Regrettably, I am here to talk to you- <laughs> Where the hell is your brain? Where are your internal organs? I'll never tell. <laughs> they certainly are not where you'd think, that's for sure. Look, I have been watched by lights in the sky, and little guys through my windows, and dumb shits from dark spaces in my room my whole life. So don't pretend you can freak me out with cryptic, stupid shit like that. I'll tell you what. I'll give you some information, some some insider info about my internal organs, if you go get me something. You're greedy. You already took my worm. A blue bunny. Just a bunny? Gastro. Thank you.
Finley, where is Gastro? Sissy, cheese. Come again? The bunny. The stuffed bunny with the gimpy leg. You have no idea. I haven't seen that toy in 15 years. Bullshit. You and I both know you don't need to have seen something in order to see it. Just look and see. Do it. Don't shout in the library, sissy. Do it. Look. How about I lead you to Gastro? I think that would make things easier than just telling you. It gets complicated. What if What if we go get a coffee right now? I have something I need to talk to you about, sissy. Then we can go find the rabbit afterwards. It's a trick. Finley's gonna fucking slit your neck open in two seconds. Stay away from me, you neck slitter. You should be ashamed, you fuck. No one's ever gonna trust you if you slit their necks. Cecilia. I wish my own brother wasn't so obsessed with slitting my neck open. God, what embarrassment he is. Cecilia, I'm... Come now. Now that that putrid bear bitch roadkill child is gone, I can share with you the secret location of my vital organs. They're across town at the baseball field under the bleachers. Sometimes I like to sit and watch the games and partake in a Cracker Jack or two. Oh, oh look! A toy man! My second favorite toy! Right after stuffed bunnies! Hank, you okay? Let me in, Millie. Sissy, what are you doing here? I'm looking for something that I think I left here. Gastro the Blue Bunny. I don't have any idea what just, you're talking about, Sissy. I don't just... What, what, what is this? What do you, what, what? Just what? let me in. I'll find it. You remember Plasticine Mike? I've been hanging out with him, and he says I really shouldn't let you in or, uh, talk to you ever. Plasticine Mike said that? Yeah. He said that, like, your green eye issue is, like, bad news, and... Green what issue? Jesus, you're so hot. Okay, well, come to the front door. Give me a sec. Plasticine Mike gave me this electronic meter device. It's a painting that measures danger. I have it hung up next to the door. Smart, huh? Brilliant, Millie. Let's see... D -d 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 yeah? See, it looks here like you're actually really evil and letting you in could be dangerous. <laughs> Sorry, what? That's literally um, a lie, Millie. That is a non-truth. A non-truth, huh? I don't know, dude. <laughs> Consider the truth. Consider... Millie... For a moment, just, just consider in your brain, just, the, just consider what truth really is to you. Just the concept of truthfulness. Just think about it in your mind. Keep it there. Just mo chew on that. 
Hmm. Yes. God, you're so smart, sissy. Okay, I've considered it. Now consider how Plasticine Mike is full of shit and should stick its head underwater and keep it there just a, a little bit too long. Okay. Hmm. That's disturbing. But okay, I've considered that as well. Now do you want to let me in? Well, what you say checks out, I guess. So tell me again what you wanted the bunny for. Well, I... I, I literally, like, barely remember. <laughs> but it has something to do with killing a guy. Oh. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's a lot to deal with. Is it, though? Yeah. Jeez, dude. I'm a cute girl who only eats worms and sometimes wants to kill herself. Going for a ride in a little rat buggy. My childhood was totally fucked up and shitty and all my friends hate me and my big brother is cool but he only shows up when I don't want him to and I guess I am not exactly awesome to be around. But it's not a big deal because I'm super cute and hot and cool so it's like who cares you know? But also like when I'm alone shit starts getting silly. The stars get stupid and slide around and that's when orbs and saucers start messing with my stuff. You know it's because of my stupid blood cells. I looked it up online on some forums. They talked about something hilarious called PT, which some people say is short for phantom telemetry and some people call it plasmoth tartilli cups. It's like an electromagnetic field that affects people's brain functions. It gets scoobled in small amounts when you run special electric currents through swamp gas but flying saucers radiate palpable loads of the stuff when they burn their fuel sources. There's this one really really hot chick on the internet who told me she heard that there are no flying saucers or aliens at all and they are just the result of fricked up crazy PT trips. I have a theory that when levels get super high or when someone's brain is extra special powerful already, the PT hallucinations will interact with solid reality, or in my PT mommy's case get totally knocked up by some guy. So at the end of the day, my mom's not even technically real. Just a pseudoscientific illusory to me critter. Sometimes it feels like my DNA itself barely remembers where it came from. But the lights in the sky definitely remember. They follow me everywhere I've ever gone. They float around like plankton, marauding the countryside, munching on cow's eyeballs, tongues, and gonads. That is until they eat enough of those to develop enough brains to head for the hills. That's where I'm being taken right now. The hills. The ones the locals call Mount Zog. I always knew that's where I would die. 